And, and I have to give Carla props. Um, I saw her speak many years ago, and we were just recounting this, and Carla talked about how when she was first passed over managing director, she was told she wasn't strategic enough. And for, I think you said a few months, you worked the word strategy and strategic mm -hmm. into every conversation. So how I got to be in charge of social media as one of the oldest folks in the group was I embraced social media earlier on in my personal career and I began bringing it into all of my conversations while thinking about emerging media, thinking outside the box, really talking about it. And before you know it, when there was an opportunity that we wanted to centralize social, it was, well, of course, it has to be Linda. We interviewed all of these other people, but they don't get it. And she does, and she understands. Mm -hmm. So it really is powerful. But even if you're starting out, you know, it may you may not have that length of experience, but this is where your appearance and your body language really can set the tone of do you present with confidence? Oh, yeah. Are you dressing like a little girl and wearing little girl jewelry, or do you look like you can step in and begin building your gravitas? And that's really so important as you're building your resume is to also think about are you presenting for that next level of leadership and capabilities or do you look like you're still in high school? And I say that with all seriously because then you can't really accompany your boss. I can't take you into a meeting and begin to include you and help you build the visibility if you don't look like you belong. Yeah, that's, that's a very interesting point. It's, uh, and it's important to understand that every job, I don't care what it is, every job has a uniform, every single one. And so if you want to make sure that you maximize your success in that environment, particularly if you're trying to get promoted, make sure you have the right uniform on. And this does not in any way fly in the face of what I was talking about, about being authentic. Because your authenticity starts with the decision that I'm OK with the uniform. If I didn't want to wear this uniform every day, then it would be inauthentic for me to think about, especially at the time that I came to financial services, that I could come to financial services because this is the, this is the required uniform. So if you want to make sure that you want to play in the next level, then you should actually watch and see what the uniform is for those who are at that level. Now, it's not that you can't bring your own individual style, but she's absolutely right. They have to see you that way. I'll never forget one of my mentees was trying to get promoted to VP. Very smart, wicked smart, got all of the, the right assignments and had an opportunity to present, but she was dressing, frankly, like the junior associate. So what was happening is that they were sort of treating her like the junior associate uh, in the meetings. So I simply told her that they changed the uniform. I said, look how so-and-so's dressed. Does she, look how so-and-so, look how so-and-so. She goes, oh, yeah, yeah. I said, so all I want you to do is for two months, wear that. If you only have two, switch them up every other day. That doesn't matter. Just <laughs> every day. And she got promoted, OK, because they started to see. And then I gave her some language to use also that VPs use, right? And they started to see. So it was assumed. So right. then what started happening before she got promoted, she'd say something to so-and-so. And they'd say, well, so where are you? And she said, well, I'm a senior associate. She'd say, oh, I thought you were already a VP. That's exactly what you want to start to, to happen. Yeah. Your brand isn't just about what you do. It's how you look, mm -hmm. how you speak. It is that full package, how you present yourself in every medium, including online. So think about, too, your social media presence, your oh. presence on LinkedIn. How do you present your brand? You know, What are you signaling through what you share? And is that reinforcing and creating consistency? So at every touch point, your colleagues your leaders are seeing you as that you know, value talent who has a future with the organization. Yeah. And ladies, beware, because that's something Linda and I did not have to deal with. When we were at many of your levels, as I look around the, the audience, this social media presence thing is real. People look at it, and they make their own judgments about who you are, even when they don't know you. So be careful, be careful, be careful of your postings. Right? I hate to add that extra burden, but I am telling you there isn't a prospective employer around today that doesn't Google or LinkedIn or Facebook. They all check, and they check internally. So if you're a candidate that they're thinking about putting in a high-profile position, they're going to check it out because they don't want you to potentially be an embarrassment for the firm. 
So watch it. Now, you, none of us can control what somebody else, some third party, puts up there. That's just a fact of life these days. But it's about your judgment and what you choose to post. So be, be very careful about that. Thank <laughs> you.